بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم من بعد continuing on in our dars in basic fiqh we continue on in uh, the ahadith related to tayammum and we reach the last hadith before we get into the kitab al haid al haid is going is a much more intricate bab and there are many statements of the ulama i believe imam ahmed said something to the effect that he studied the the book of haid for 20 years or something to this effect letting us know the difficulty of the bab al haid and that we'll try to gain some basic fuad because we do need to know these things especially our sisters our Muslim sisters, that they need to be aware of at least the basic rulings pertaining to Haidh and Nifas, you know, and, and related to their Tahara. So that is the last chapter. Once we finish this Hadith, we will move into that and we will study these Ahadith with some details and preparation and research going into some of these, uh, these Ahadith so that way we have a good, firm foundation and we're clear as we are studying these very important issues. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil and bless us with al nafir uskan faybu amal al-mutaqabilin. So, bi'idhnillah, we will finish the Kitab al-Tahara, the Book of, uh, of Purification, during Ramadan. And perhaps we'll even get into some of the ahadith related to Salat in our study of basic fiqh, bi'idhnillah. An Jabir ibn Abdullah radiyallahu ta'ala anhuma anna nabiya sallallahu alayhi wa sallam aqal أُعطيت خمسا لم يعطينا أحد من من الأنبياء قبلي نسرت برعب مسيرة الشهر وجعلت لي أرض مسجد وطهور فأيما رجل من أمتي أدركته الصلاة فليصلي وأحلت لي غنائم ولم تحل لي أحد